Today we're going to be installing this vintage light into the kitchen. It'll go right here and it will be operated on the three-way circuit which has a switch here and a switch over here. And this is a neat install to me because that light along with this light were both in my grandparents kitchen when I was growing up. And I remember both of these lights vividly. Particularly this one, I remember changing the bulbs sometimes. But I was always into lighting, so if the if one of the bulbs had gone out, that would be something that I would notice and try to take care of. And then I remember cleaning it sometimes. And there was one time we cleaned it, and it was like, wow, it's so much brighter. Because this was used over the stove, or kind of near the stove. Like, let's say, it was kind of near where the ceiling fan was actually in relation to the stove. Maybe a little bit more over. And so it collected a lot of the oils and so, so forth from the stove. And so it got kind of dirty. And uh, when we changed the bulbs, sometimes we'd clean it and it would make a big difference. So the fixture is in surprisingly good condition. This finish looks great. I'm surprised that it's not covered in that, um, whatever the light itself is covered in. This is a little dusty, but nothing crazy. This is all in good condition still. It says incandescent fixture. I'm gonna put some CFLs into it first. If I find that I turn it on and off a lot, I'll switch it back to incandescent. So first, I do want to clean it up a little bit because there is some residual uh, kitchen grease and so forth in there. This was taken out of service 15 something years ago now at this point. It's been a while. And it had uh, it had CFLs in it when I when I just took it out of the box. And it's kind of interesting because it was like stuck in time because that's all there was when it was last used. No LED garbage. I remember using both incandescent and CFLs in this thing. And we're putting them both in there over the years. That light was always incandescent. It had one of those big globe bulbs in there. Cold cathode. See that? That's why it would get so much brighter. Wow, look at that. Yikes, this is really dirty. Well, that's why we're cleaning it up. What is that? It's an annoying sound. I think it coming from outside. Maybe it's a refrigerator, I don't know. That was a lot dirtier than I thought it was going to be. I guess it makes sense, I and mean, if you're taking it out to get rid of it, why would you clean it? Now we got to clean both sides. 
It's got a lot of scum on the outside too. Oh, we shouldn't clean this near food. Fortunately, this will be further away from the stove now. So chances are it will not get like this again. That's a huge difference. This side must have been facing the stove. This is the worst side.
All right, that looks pretty good though. I think this light is from the 90s. I don't think it's the original light that was in the kitchen. I believe there's been three kitchens in that house so far. All right, well, fixture is clean. So let's get the bracket up there. So the way this bracket work is it's got screws that go through there and then these little balls connect on the end of here once the screws pass through the fixture. This box came out really good. That's super solid. It doesn't shake or move at all and the level is perfect. Uh, we gotta trim that down a bit. I think just for the sake of thoroughness, we're going to redo this as well. There's enough slack. I 
I always want to start with a good clean connection anyways. Yeah, that's much better. The copper should be shiny. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. So that just kind of goes, oh boy, we got trouble. The uh, screws are too short. That's kind of weird. Well, no big deal, I can replace them. You guys will end up using that box of screws that I got. I wonder why the screws would be shorter. The, the box is perfectly flush with the ceiling. That's weird. I'll have to replace it with one of these screws. These should fit the same. Yeah, these fit just fine. So these screws are a little bit longer. I'm not sure they're going to be long enough though. Then the next option is this, which is, which is probably way too long. Oh, let's see if this will solve the problem. I don't think so that it will. Hmm. Hmm, that's not going to work. It doesn't, uh, 
stay threaded so there's no way to no way to screw it on all right so we have a we have a stoppage I don't know why this stops threading when it gets to the top because it's threading right now There's, the threads just like diminish at the top. That's really stupid. I might be able to put a washer there. If, if this is long enough, I can probably put a washer there and maybe fix that. Or I'll have to shim the bracket down with some washers. That just barely might be long enough um hmm the other option instead of playing with this is to just shim the whole thing down and that might make more sense because these screws are pretty long if i put uh even a half inch there of washers. I think that would solve the problem. Because this needs to come down. How much? It's just barely missing. I think if I put all the washers there, that might work. I'm going to go get some washers. I got some washers, some lock washers. Let's see what we can do here. We can break some technology. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to put this back because this works properly. This is a nice old screw. The threads will go all the way to the top like they should. So if we take these screws, we put this through here, and we put a bunch of washers, that will give us some more distance to work with. Put a bunch of washers, that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, a lock. Let's try 10 on each side. Well, this is going to get tricky. Excellent, that will solve the problem. 
Actually, that might, is that solving it too much? We might have to take a little bit of those and wash it out. Let's see how, how much it'll crimp down when the lock washer closes. Not much. Yeah, that works fine. I'm content with that. Let's see here. That's like that, and this is like this. I don't think it's gonna go all the way flush. I think that uh, it's a little bit too long now. Let's take a few of those off. If we just take the top two off, let the lock washer hit the hit the box directly. That one sat nicely, this one did not. There we go. All right, I think that'll work. Let's see. That seems about right. Yeah, that takes it just about to the end. It's, you know, it could go up another millimeter, but it doesn't matter. This is not something that moves. Perfect. Nice and solid. Okay, now we can finish. I'm going to put in these, or I'm going to throw these, Echo Smart 60 Wide Equivalent CFLs. If I find that I turn the light on and off regularly, I'll change it to incandescent, but chances are good I'm going to turn this on and just leave it on. And these are still able to be purchased for now, so if I need to buy more, 
uh, I at least can. Although I can also buy appliance bulbs, so we have that going too. Alright, now here's the worst part, which is trying to put this thing back on, put the shade back on. I always hated trying to put this shade back on because it uh, it's just not easy because you got to line this up and then it, it always seems like it's going to fall as you try to balance the um, the thing on there. I'm going to change to one of these chairs because it's a little bit easier for me to get onto. isn't right. Where's the hole? Okay. Doesn't feel like it's going in there properly. not. What's the problem here? There it goes. I think I wasn't holding it level. All right. Now it's corded the wobbly, but that's because of the way it's mounted. <sighs> okay, there it is. Now let's turn it on. Okay. There it is. It looks nice in here with these two fans. Unfortunately, you can see the holes very clearly, so I'm going to have to patch up the holes, but that'll be a project for another day. Geez, those CFLs really have a slow startup time to them. Now we're downstairs, so they're kind of cold, but that's a blue. That, that's abysmal. It don't matter, I guess, but it's kind of weird. They're a fairly new product. <laughs> 